Ready again? Hey guys, welcome back. This is part two of my Switzerland trip. So we took the train back to Tosh, picked up our car, and drove to the Jungfrau region. So we stayed in the Interlaken area, but we spent most of our time in Grindelwald and Lauterbrunnen. So we first went to Grindelwald. You can take the gondola up to first, and there, there are a bunch of activities you can do. So they have like mountain carts, and zip lining, and cliff walk. And so we did the zip line, and we did the cliff walk. This could be the moment we've been waiting for, the chance to feel alive. Nothing's gonna stop us, nothing's gonna top this, nothing like we've ever seen. Another day we did Lauterbrunnen and we did the Trummelbach Falls, which is this uh, amazing network of caves and walkways that goes back into the mountain. So there are all these waterfalls, you walk through the caves in the dark. It was terrifying and really amazing. Before we left the Alps we did Oberhofen Castle, which was a completely different feeling castle than Chillon to Tupilion. So we stayed in Zurich for the last couple nights in Switzerland. We stayed in Zurich, but that's, we didn't really see Zurich because we just used it as sort of a jumping off point to go to different places. So our last full day, we went sort of bonkers and basically put everything into that day. It was a completely full day and we did it all. We were pretty impressed with ourselves. So we went to uh, Rhine Falls first, which is in Switzerland, but the route it took us went through Germany, so it was kind of cool to pick up Germany as a country, even though I really need to go back to Germany because I didn't really see it. Rhine Falls is the biggest waterfall in Europe, and it was pretty incredible, and I was surprised at how close they let you get to the waterfall. We could literally reach out and touch it, but it was so massive and powerful. So the next thing we did was we went to Ebenalp and we took the gondola up to the top and then we started hiking downward and into a cave and through the cave and when you head down this trail and along this cliff then you end up at this amazing restaurant and hotel built in the 1860s that has been built into the side of the cliff.
Depuis le début, tu as fini. What's the verdict? I'm more salt. It's pretty amazing. Let me see. I wrote down the name, so I hopefully I don't butcher it. Burgesthaus Asher Vilkirchli. I'm gonna link it below so you guys can see it because who knows how to even spell that. It was by far the most amazing place we ate lunch on the whole trip. I had the cheese tart and with a side of bugs. Everything else was normal, but they served bugs as a side dish. Hmm. After Eben Alp, we drove through Austria and then through Liechtenstein. And so we could check a few more countries off our list, but not really. I mean, we didn't experience them. I need to go back to Austria. I know I'm gonna go back to Austria. I know I'm gonna go back to Germany. Liechtenstein, I'm not sure about. It's so tiny. It's a tiny little country. So who knows if I'm ever gonna be back there. So it was fun to be able to stop, stop in while we were so close. All right guys, that's a wrap up for my Switzerland trip. I put a bunch of the links below for things that we did while we were there. Click subscribe. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.